All right, today's video is um, a little bit of a uh, unboxing. I've got uh, Bill and Eddie who purchased a diesel heater. They're going to do their unboxing to show you um, just how the boxes come. They both uh, arrived at the same time. So first of all, we'll have a look at Bill's unboxing and then we'll have a look at Eddie's unboxing. And then I got a couple packages myself and we'll see what those are too. And it's Bill's unboxing of his new car parking diesel heater. And uh, we're in his his van, cutting it open. They uh, they are very shipped very well. I mean, it's uh, got some nice wrapping on the outside. The box is uh, got everything inside, and it's it's fairly well. Uh, wrapped for, for shipping. As soon as you open the box you come up with the fuel tank. Fuel tank and a couple mounting brackets there. There's the heater itself with the uh, remote control, the pump, comes with a key fob so that you can start it from a distance, uh, it's like radio uh, signal, so it can go quite far. That's the uh, intake and the exhaust area at the bottom, that's the only holes that you have to drill. And then the box with the rest of the parts in it, the tubes for the in intake air and the exhaust. Uh, the other piping for the uh, blower wiring long enough wires to go all the way from front to back of the van and a fuel line and now we're going to have a look at uh, Eddie's unboxing of the new car parking diesel heater this is uh, Eddie's in Eddie's van and there again it's packed the same the uh, fuel tank the muffler and the uh, mounting brackets and what have you there and the uh, heater along in the same way. It's got the key fob and the, and the controller and uh, the pump. Some good weight to the pump. It's like good quality actually for, you know, Chinese stuff is Chinese. Uh, it's the price that counted. And uh, here's the box with all the other stuff in it, like the, the, the hose, the fuel line hose for the diesel and uh, the piping and the venting. And the vent tube pipe. And it's very, very easy to assemble, very easy to mount. The hardest part is drilling the holes in the floor and uh, getting a place to, to mount it. And all the rest of the goodies, the air filter, the uh, fuel filter, all the nuts and bolts and clamps and everything is in there. Now we're on to, uh, I have two packages to unbox that came from Amazon also. And uh, the first one is a coffee uh, pot. I like the long spout on the end. That was so that I could pour it in my dripper um, better. With my other coffee pot, it didn't work so well. I love the colors on this thing. It's just beautiful colors. It changes colors as you move it in, this, in the light. So that'll come in handy. And secondly was I needed a new uh, voltmeter. I, the uh, one I've got checks uh, AC current, not DC current. 
So I needed something that I can just put the clamp on the wire and I can get DC uh, current uh, readouts. So that's why I purchased this one. It was fairly cheap, so uh, it was no big deal. And I have a little bit more to tell you about the uh, controller and how it works. I'm figuring this thing out more as I go. Here's the controller here. Let's see if I can get away with a little bit of less glare. But you can see it's reading 16 degrees there right now. And that's what the temperature inside here is. And then the in the pictorial view of the heater itself below, it shows little bars inside, two green ones, two yellow ones, one red one, and one it should be a third or a second one on, but because we're up to the temperature, it now just switched to 17 degrees, which is what I've got it set at. So let me tell you what I've learned here, Julie, is the time. It's 9.59 in the morning right now. Uh, it's got the symbol of the time beside that, the blue symbol. The green uh, battery above it tells you the battery is okay. The symbol, and that just changed to 10 o'clock. Uh, the pump is pumping. Uh, the exhaust and the intake is working. So if you press the OK button, it will give you what temperature it is inside of wherever the heater is. This is what temperature it is inside my van. Press it again is a target temperature that I want it to go up to 20 degrees and then shut down. 12.8 volts. Uh, E00 means there's no errors whatsoever since the last time and back to 10 o'clock. Now, if I, it's 17 degrees in here right now, if I set the temperature I want to arrive at, at 20 like it is, and turn it on, it will go up to 20 Celsius and then shut down as far as my understanding. It will shut down once it gets to 20, like completely shut down. It's on totally manual uh, function right there. If you want it to be an automatic function, this is what i found so far, if you want it to be automatic, what I do is, I'll turn the temperature down to about 19, maybe 18. Once it's there, I'll press the up arrow over here, and at the same time, well, press the up arrow, hold it down, and then press the set button. So I need two hands to do this, well, let me just see, I can press this one here. Now you get a reading that says P2.9. Let's go back there. 17 degrees it is right now and P2.9. So whatever I had set that at, at 18 degrees, it'll put be at P whatever. That's it's 2.9. If I set it to 20 or 21 degrees, this will say P 3.4 or something else, something different. And I'm not too sure what they mean by P2.9HZ, which is Hertz. But I'm thinking it's, from what it seems like, is the pump will pump 2.9 times a second. But once it gets to that temperature, which is set at 2.9, whatever temperature that is, uh, it will maintain that. It will. The pump will get slower. The bars across the bottom will get less. It doesn't need that much heat anymore to keep it at that temperature, and it's totally automatic. It will reach, uh, keep it at a certain temperature that you had set. So it's at 2.9 to get back to temperature readout, as opposed to the the P 2.9. You hold the up arrow and press the set key. And we got 21 because I, it, go, it went up there. But at 18, uh, let's put it at 19. And P3.1 is 19 degrees, P3.1. So it goes back to the time automatically. Press it once, that's the, tar that's the temperature it is in here, 17. Press it again, P3.1. Now it's going to try to maintain that. So the, the pump will get slower. Uh, the uh, readout across the bottom here, there's two green, two yellow, two red. We'll get, it'll slowly go down, take, it'll be one red, then no red, then be just the yellow and the green. 
until it just slowly pumps and maintains. So this is an automatic mode for temperature. As far as I can tell, it will automatically, it won't shut down. It'll just keep it at a certain temperature in the van here, which is uh, what I want. The other way, it, it seems like once it gets to that, your target temperature, it shuts down completely, it just turns off. So that's uh, manual uh, control. This is automatic control right here. So that's what I've discovered and found out and uh, just wanted to let you guys know that.